Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's Cashflow PB and this is a little video I'm putting together. It's super amateur, but um, hopefully it's gonna be helpful for all those people who reached out to me yesterday via social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, via private messages. They're asking me, hey Mike, um, hey Cashflow PB, what exactly did you use to catch that nice six pound peacock yesterday? So without further ado, I'd like to show you what I used. Yesterday's setup was a carbon fire rod from Luz. It's a speed stick. It's a seven foot bait caster. The rating is 12 to 25 pound test. It is uh, fast action and that goes for the for the rod. I got it on sale a few months ago, I think for like $30. So, you know, that's money. That's a great price. Anyways, the lure, let's jump into the lure, is the Bill Lewis half ounce rattle trap. You know, this, this is a classic lure. This lure has been around for an eternity of years, but a lipless crankbait always catches fish. It's a great search bait. The, the, the way I caught that fish yesterday was, wasn't really like dangling, you know, dangling on, on a bed. The fish wasn't bedding. Well, not that I know of. I casted the lure as far as I could parallel to the bank and the fish kind of hit it out in open water. It wasn't really near. It was, you know, not really close to the drop off at all. The fish jumped offshore. Offshore, what I mean offshore, it was, you know, not at shore. It was, you know, you could see the fish jumping out there and it was, it looked big. When I jumped, I tried to put my rod down to the side so it wouldn't jump. I didn't want him to come off, but um, the hooks came out to uh, do a great job, honestly. These are the stock hooks on these lure. It did not break, it did not bend. As you see here, this is a brand new lure added to my inventory. The color, guys, look at the color here. This color is called Pumpkin Perch. As you see here, scuffed up right there. Pumpkin Perch. And if you guys know anything about South Florida peacock bass fishing, doesn't it look like a baby jewel fish? You know, the African jewel fish is uh, an invasive cichlid we have here in South Florida waters. And let me tell you, I have never found a peacock that will turn down a jewel fish. If you're using one for live bait, that is exactly 100% money. It is money every time. Rattle trap. Been around for a very, very long time, but catches fish. Guys, if you wanted to know, the color is pumpkin perch. I think it looks amazing. I'm trying to not get stuck by those real, real sharp hooks. The reel that I'm using is a Cast King Spartacus Plus. This reel, let me tell you guys, I've been using this reel here for over six months. I got it on Amazon for under 50 bucks and it's been 100% money. This reel right here, I think currently it's like $45.99 and it is a workhorse for me. It is a great reel. The line that I'm using is a casking floral coat line. It's kind of a hybrid between floral carbon, 100% floral carbon and monofilament. It, you know, it's a, it's a good flexible platform. I like it. I like 12 pound test for bait casters, especially for fishing for peacock where there's a lot of wooded areas, a lot of trees down in the water where a little bit heavy cover. You know, if I'm running a spinner, I'm normally running eight pound test. That's my thing. Eight pound test on a spinner. You know, if, if, if I want, I can use a little 12 pound test leader. If, if so, most of the time, honestly, guys, um, I'm running straight eight pound test casking floral coat line and without a problem but on big casters i like 12 for some reason you know people go heavier you can use 12 16 but me personally in south florida i like using a 12 pound test uh i feel you know it gives me that that that, that balance where i could cast the lure uh, a good distance a far distance uh versus the heavier line so um you know, I hope you did enjoy uh, this little video I put together. I know there's a lot of information on peacock bass in South Florida, but a lot of information is is, is somewhat vague in a sense that um, people are not really telling you, uh, for the most part, what exactly they're using on a daily basis, what what what's working, what what kind of lures, what reel, what rod, what line. You know, it's a lot of pictures of people actually showing you what they caught. But um, I feel like I've been peacock bass fishing for over 20 years here in South Florida. Um, I felt, um, you know, somewhat of, of a responsibility in a sense that uh, since I've been fishing so long, it's it's great to help out those 
other uh, new fishermen that want to catch a, a peacock and are, are curious to know what what did I use and and so you know it's awesome to share and and, and it's really um, a great a great thing, guys. Uh, so if you want to help out a new guy fisher a new fisherman out there, it's always nice to help them out. So if anybody comes up on this video and was wondering what I caught, what I caught, what I used. I caught a six pound peacock bass yesterday, 6.15. And um, this is what I used. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna end this video now here. If you'd like to uh, check out the Rattle Trap and the Casking Spartacus Plus, I'm gonna leave a link below on the video description. If you buy it, it's great. It helps me out, helps my, uh, my channel out. I get a, um, a small commission from Amazon. I am an associate, so I'm telling you straight up. So I'm not trying to hide anything, but um, yeah, guys, it's been your boy, Catch Flow PB. Hope you did enjoy my video. Later.